this video, we will walk through setting up split tunneling. Let's begin. Split tunneling is enabled on a per session basis. To turn on split tunneling, we will first need to edit a session profile. To edit a session profile, we'll navigate under the NetScaler Gateway portion and under Policies, select Session. On the right, we'll have two tabs, one labeled Session Policies, the other labeled Session Profiles. Clicking on Session Profiles tab brings up a list of the session profiles. We can then select the session profile we wish to edit and then click the Edit button to drill into it. The split tunneling settings are found under the Client Experience, where we can choose to override the global settings and turn on split tunneling. Notice that there's also an option for reverse, indicating that if we wanted to reverse the logic of the split tunneling, we could choose to do that as well. Once we select the on position for split tunneling, we'll click the OK button. And next, we have to tell the VPN client which networks are to be tunneled. This is done by defining intranet applications and binding them to the VPN gateway. To create these intranet applications, we'll scroll down to the Resources section and select Intranet Applications. From here, we can then add the intranet applications and label the subnets or the networks that we wish to incorporate. For documentation purposes, it is helpful to uh, indicate not only the IP address range or the subnet IP address, but also whether this is an internal network or uh, a data network or whatever. So we can continue to document as, as needed. We'll go ahead and select that this will be done transparently, so this will require no additional configuration on the client end. We'll specify the, uh, the IP address once again, and we could specify the ports if we so chose. But we're going to change the subnet mask to reflect a subnet mask to cover the entire subnet. Go ahead and select the Create button. And we could create a second one as well if we want, if we had a second network for the split tunnel. And we'll go ahead and put in a second one there. And click the Create button. Finally, we would need to go to the VPN virtual server, VPN Gateway virtual server. And we'll need to bind those internet applications or those uh, IP net, uh, subnet IP addresses to be tunneled. So we'll select the gateway and click the Edit button. And to the far right, under the Advanced Settings, we'll find the internet applications. Clicking will add the internet applications to the right, or to the left rather. And from here, we can select and click again to select and choose each network range and bind it. I'll go ahead and bind the other one as well. And by binding them, we're indicating that these two uh, IP address ranges belong in the tunnel and the VPN client can then direct all other traffic outside. Once we've clicked the bind button, close and done. We have now looked at setting up split tunneling. We've gone through and created the internet applications, we've updated the session profile, and we've updated the virtual server.